How does this work? So Katie, tell me a little bit what you know about a xerographic copier. You know, I don't really know how those work at all. It's a mystery. I just put it in the paper and things come out, but I don't know what the process is like. I really want to know how it goes, though. So, Maddie, tell me what you know about a Xerox copy machine. Well, I don't know, Aubrey. Ariana, tell me what you know about a Xerographic copier machine. Um, a Xerographic copier is a device that uses electrostatic charges to align the toner into place and then heat and pressure and stuff in order to get that toner to stick to the paper. And then you get a copy. Come on over, I'll show you how it works. Come on, Come on, let's take a closer look. So here we have some basic notes for the conditional tense of Spanish. We place them down, hit go. The light beam moves across, and as ener enough energy is added, the electrons start to jump off in the form of photons. When that light is reflected off these notes, it then goes back to its origin with uh, the scan we're looking for. And presto, an exact copy. Thanks for listening. Mr. Spicer once taught me about photocopiers. Here's how they work. A photocopier starts with the charging. A cylindrical drum is electrostatically charged by a high voltage wire called a corona wire or a charge roller. The drum has a coating of photoconductive material. A photoconductor is a semiconductor that becomes conductive when exposed to light. Next, exposure. A bright lamp illuminates the original document and the white areas of the original document reflect the light onto the surface of the photoconductive drum. The areas of the drum that are exposed to light become conductive and therefore discharged to ground. The area of the drum not exposed to light, those areas that correspond to black portions of the original document, remain negatively charged. The result is a latent electric pole image on the surface of the drum. Next comes the developing. The toner is positively charged. When it is applied to the drum to develop the image, it is attracted and sticks to the areas that are negatively charged, just as paper sticks to a toy balloon with a static charge. The resulting toner image on the surface of the drum is transferred from the drum onto a piece of paper with a higher negative charge than the drum. The toner is melted and bonded to the paper by heat and pressure rulers, which creates your final copy. Here are the wise words of Alex Gideon from Boston University. Oh, how do I operate this machine? You suck. <laughs> the drum to the develop the image. Dang it! Darn it! Stop it. So, Aubrey, what do you know about a zero graphic copier? <laughs> Are we starting?